cathedral town of Munster and the home of the Munster Garrison Angling Club, who this year are playing host to the British Army on the Rhine Angling Championships. Over the last six months, regional qualifying matches have been held to select the final 40 teams from the original 130 stations entering the competition. Three, two, Eddie Regiment. Munster A and B, yes. 19 field, yes. A and B, 50 missile, yes. 26 engineers, yes. 5 bridge, yes. 22 yes. air defence, yes. grain guards. Yes. This is the third Benson and Hedges uh, BOR Team Angling Championships and uh, this one's being fished on the River Ems at Teltka near Munster. The uh, competition, uh, today's final is comp 40 teams competing and they've arrived at this uh, point by qualifying through 20 matches held throughout the year and within the four group areas. River today is not as we would have liked it to have been. There has been a lot of rain of late, with the consequence that the water is uh, high and a lot of colour in it. And we don't actually expect the catches to be as good as we would have expected them to be under normal circumstances. I think you'll find during the course of the day that most teams will use two tactics. They will all start off by fishing what we call the inside line, which is where you use a stick float or a similar type of float which is fixed top and bottom and you just sort of run through maybe slightly over depth for the purpose of cleaning out the inside line of the smaller fish. And then if the weather conditions allow and we're looking for an upstream wind, then most of them will switch to a waggler, which is a rather longer float fixed bottom only with all the weight up by the float just a couple of small shot down the line with a view of trying to get some fish from the far bank as you can see it's not a very wide river and uh, there's a tendency with people moving around and a lot of activity for the fish which is sh naturally shy to drop away and move across over to the other side of the river if neither of those tactics uh, produced then I suspect we'll go back to the old hardy standby which is called a feeder where we dispense with any float tactics and use a weighted cylinder which contains either bait or ground bait and uh, you then just cast that in and sit on it and hope that something will pick it up and feed off of that. Roger! 10 o'clock on a crisp September morning, with conditions far from perfect. Strong winds and turbulent water. It was clear from the outset that this was going to be a test of skill and knowledge of the sport. Tactics were to prove all important. In this case, a switch to using a feeder. Most participants had decided to use fine tackle if they were going to catch anything at all. The tactics adopted here highlight the extra current of the river.
Off to a good start, one of the characters of BAOR angling, Corporal Ginger Card, a member of the 1986 championship team. It's not often one gets a second chance to put a fish in the net. the halfway point, and with the weather still unfavorable, showing little sign of improving, the anglers are still struggling to catch. These conditions really bring out the skills involved in angling. It's rare to see this style these days, but the use of a center pin reel and the technique of batting to recover line is an extremely good method of controlling the tackle. In fact, there were many different styles apparent, some more successful than others. As time ticks by, Sergeant Chalky White, secretary of the angling group, concentrates on increasing his catch. By mid-afternoon, the wind had died down on sections A, B and C, which at least made angling a little more pleasant, but didn't help to improve the catch rate, although Chalky White's patience was rewarded. And so, after five hours of total concentration, and maybe some frustration, the moment of reckoning. But how did the competitors feel they'd done? Not too good, actually, because it's uh, a bit patchy, patchy all over, I think. Um, it's all small stuff, no big stuff at all coming out. Uh, I've tried all over, far bank, near bank, middle. But uh, there's not a great deal of big ones about. I think that rain we had, as the river's swollen now, and it's, it's not helped at all, I don't think. But uh, one of them days, I'm afraid. <laughs> so we win some, you lose some. Not too good, really, about kilo, kilo and a half or so. Mainly small roach. Well, I started the first three hours using a top rasking, running down the middle. And I picked up the, the roach on that, mainly. 
Then the last hour I went onto a waggler and a swim feeder, but nope, came to. No, all in all, not very good. First of all, I was doing uh, inside there, just cut the feet out with a pole. That didn't uh, bring anything on. Then I went onto a stick float, tried that, nothing. I went on the far bank with a waggler, still couldn't get anything. And then I decided to go on the lead and try uh, ledging, but not a lot at all. Never mind, can't do anything about it, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I've got 54 fish. I reckon I'm at about three and a half to four kilos in weight. Not too bad. It's been very slow though. First hour and a half was very good, but it died after that. Let's fish in. Each section was weighed in by the stewards. The weight of each angler's catch was converted into points, with the result being given to the team with the lowest points total. Is it a car, please? No. What? Two, five, sixty. Yeah. There was also a category for the largest fish. Saxons. One nine hundred. One nine hundred. Yep. Try him like that. Yes, please. It's gonna be one two twenty. Okay. <laughs> Ginger Card's efforts were eagerly awaited by his colleagues. Although his personal catch was excellent for the day, the team's catch wasn't sufficient to retain the title. Champions with 53 points, Herford Garrison. <laughs> Jubilant teams were presented with the prizes and trophies by Charles Stewart of Benson and Hedges. And the BAOR Team Championship Shield was presented to the winner by Major Peter Todd on behalf of the BAOR Sports Board. Although we backdated it for the last two years and covering the Benson and Hedges sponsorship, Kevin, if you'd like to come forward. And so, 200 weary anglers made their way back to their units. A good day's sport behind them. But the challenge will still be there next year in the Benson & Hedges BAOR Angling Championship. Mm -hmm.